Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Story Time Sunday. And that is a new series. I'm going to try to start to where I post um, a video of reading to one of the babies every Sunday. So I'm going to keep trying to get books so I can keep that up. But as of right now, it may be on and off, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm hoping to have every Sunday a new video of reading a story with one of the babies. And as you can see, um, just like the last story time Sunday, Madeline is joining us. Looking all cute. I just changed her into her... Um, outfit and had a video of that and a tag that I done but um somehow it didn't upload and I had already deleted it so I'm gonna have to redo that video for you guys tomorrow maybe I'll try to have that up tomorrow just see how the day goes so yeah hope you guys are ready to hear a story okay y'all we hope you're ready for a really good book the name of the book that I'm going to be reading to y'all and Madeline is The Little P and there's the author I'm not even going to attempt to say that, but it has a pretty feather and a little pea on it, the cover. So let's go ahead and read. And I'm going to pick you guys up to show you guys this. It is actually a pretty good sized book, lengthwise. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys pages one by one. So, so just um, hang tight for me. So let's get started. A little pea. Okay. Here's the picture. Show you guys that first. There's the picture. And then here we go. A plant full of little peas grew in a garden. All the little peas looked alike and were as happy as could be. All but one. This little pea didn't want to be a little pea like all the others. Sorry about all the movement. Just hope you guys hang tight because this is a really good book. Okay, here we go. Hop! The little pea jumped out of his pod. He asked himself, what would he like to be? A pumpkin? A carrot? A turnip? peacock appeared. The little pea exclaimed, I want to be like a peacock with a tail as beautiful as a boutique. The little pea picked up a feather and attached it with a string. My, how handsome I am. Sorry about the door in the background, if you guys hear that. Daddy and Lucas is doing something silly, and I don't know what it is, but they're up to something, I think. A tiger bounded in and chased away the peacock. The little pea exclaimed, I want to be like a tiger, strong and with such beautiful fur. I love this book, guys. It's just so cute. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far as much as me and Madeline is. Madeline sure is enjoying it. The little pea grabbed a paintbrush and covered himself with stripes. Oh my, I am so handsome. And how strong I am now too. An elephant trumped and trumped, and the tiger fled. The little pea exclaimed, I want to look like an elephant. His nose is as big as the sound it makes. The little pea used a blade of grass to make a trunk. He was so proud, so handsome, strong, and as big as can be. I am the most unique pea of all. 
<laughs> That's so cute. The little pea went home to all the other little peas. As soon as they saw him, they teased and bur teased him and burst into laughter. Aww. Poor little pea. I am a funny seed, he said to himself, but I am a seed in any case. Then, like all the other seeds, he dug a hole in the earth and snuggled in with his feather, his trunk, and his stripes. Time passed. Autumn, winter, spring, almost a year. One day, a plant full of little peas sprung up from the earth. What are you doing? Oh my guys, look at Daddy and Lucas. <coughs> there they go. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh, they're silly. I knew they was up to something. I see you. Oh, they're a sight. But I'm gonna go ahead and reread this page, guys. I'm sorry. Hope you <laughs> Oh they cracked me up. One day a plant full of little peas sprung up from the earth. No one had ever seen a plant like this before. And it was the first time that had anyone seen had seen so many happy and different kinds of little peas. How colorful he is. That is beautiful. Sorry, I'm starting to slur a little bit, guys. I'm still a little laughy from Daddy in there and Lucas. But yeah, that was the end of the book, guys. Beautiful. So I hope you guys got the story. And I hope you guys enjoyed this book as much as we did. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this book. And I hope you guys got the story of the book. And uh, thank you all for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And um, like this video. If you'd like to see more Storytime Sundays. And don't forget to comment your thoughts. And have a good night, everybody. Bye.